sleeping within my orchard. My custom always of the afternoon, upon my secure hour thy uncle stole, with juice of cursed hebanon in a vial, and in the porches of my ears did pour the leprous distilment, whose effect holds such an enmity with blood of man, that swift as quicksilver it courses through the natural gates and alleys of the body, and with a sudden vigour doth posset and curd, like eager droppings into milk, the thin and wholesome blood. So did it mine, and a most instant tetter barked about, most lazar-like, with vile and loathsome crust, all my smooth body. Thus was I sleeping, by a brother's hand, of life, of crown, of queen, at once dispatched, cut off even in the blossoms of my sin, unhouseled, disappointed, unannealed, no reckoning made, but sent to my account with all my imperfections on my head. If thou hast nature in thee, bear it not. Let not the royal bed of Denmark be a couch for luxury and damned incest. But howsoever thou pursuest this act, taint not thy mind, nor let thy soul contrive against thy mother aught. Leave her to heaven, and to those thorns that in her bosom lodge to prick and sting her. Fare thee well at once. The glow-worm shows the matin to be near and gins to pale his ineffectual fire. Adieu, adieu. Hamlet, remember me.